I'm pleased to report that the commission, the investigative panel, the hearing panel members are all in place. The standards and rules are established, uh, and that commission is poised for action. And once this bill is passed, this commission will be able to begin the real work. That is bringing accountability to those rogue prosecuting attorneys who abuse their office, sexually harass their employees, and do not show up for work. That's reaffirming our states, uh, reaffirming that our state's prosecuting attorneys will have the highest ethical standards to ensure that those in power in prosecuting cases are not above the law, but rather will uphold the law impartially and justly. First and foremost, yes, this is a short bill, but one with dangerous implications. This is also a short and simple bill that was rammed through the legislative process on party lines, regardless of how you may, however you may want to characterize it as being well vetted in a committee process. Two, I don't think this bill provides accountability and certainly not checks and balances. If this bill actually provided checks and balances for this new commission, it would not have bypassed the Georgia Supreme Court, a body of nonpartisan elected officials, to approve the standards and rules that would otherwise govern uh, this very important and powerful commission that has the ability to remove duly elected district attorneys. Now, if you want to hold, if you want to ensure that Georgians have the ability to hold district attorneys accountable, I would recommend, and certainly I think my Democratic colleagues would agree with the recommendation to stop making it more difficult for Georgians to vote.